Good day. It is Monday, July 4th, and that means two things. Outside of the individual birthday, the most popular celebration on Earth is independence from the English crown. And what I'm saying is that all holidays matter, and it is time for the Lighting Industry News Brief, brought to you by Keystone Technologies. And what we are talking about are area lights made easy. Everything in one box. This is power adjust, color adjust, three pins, twist to lock, dust to dawn photo cells, dimmable drivers, mounts in the box. Again, everything you need in one box, that's Keystone Technology. That's your exterior fixtures made easy into the news. Neil Nailed has published an open letter. Their sustainability committee has offered their findings for all. Current has laid off 25, seeking 50 more, though. Uh, Acuity is altering their phrase pricing more or less across every line. Uh, Isla is offering a brand new benefit to members, uh, access to their order track software. Simons is investing $54 million in expanding two f- existing factories. Orion C- Orion's CEO is spending twenty. million thousand dollars on ten thousand shares as part of a buyback as it were uh simons is by- buying brightly uh this is a software company being purchased for uh, not quite a billion and a half dollars uh the national association of manufacturers is calling on the government to protect competitiveness by which i mean they don't want to pay more taxes uh me either but i don't think uh, that makes me more competitive as a guy that's snarky about the news. Uh, Acuity has uh, released their Q3 earnings and they exceed estimates by quite a bit. Uh, Quarterly intake was $3.52 per share. Uh, Espen is leading in DLC recognition. That's 295 products on the QPL right now. The IES NYC has named their scholarship recipient. That's Mara Barenbaum. Uh, Lead Tech is optimistic about being profitable in this quarter or the next. Harvard Tech and Bright are cautious about their earnings projections in the near term. Uh, and the Design Plus Award has been presented five min- winners uh, from the panel of judges backed by Light and Building. Uh, smart Global shares are falling. Q3's da- Q3 sales are down 5%. Uh, Chinese factivity is up by 1% this month, and we have 192 COVID cases at a light fair so far. We will see if anyone else fesses up. I also do not know if uh, the 15%, the uh, not 15%, but the multiply by 15 rule holds across the whole event, or if that's just a U.S. thing. Uh, in events, we have uh, light fair recaps from Leds Magazine. We have ECMM and Light Now. Uh, In rep agency updates, we have 33 deals that Inside Lighting has tracked so far. Again, all these you can read on Nailed.org. In IoT, SGH has bought Stratus. This is a $225 million cash deal. Cisco has entered the Li-Fi realm. Uh, Johnson Controls has a new award. The Open Blue Pioneer Award will honor leadership in smart sustainability. Uh, In recommended reading, we have carbon offsets versus zero carbon. We have a discussion you can watch about retooling your small business for energy efficiency programs and deeper savings. We have the MIT Press on smarter, not just smart cities. Uh, We can have how much a homeowner can really save by switching to LED. We have what went down at the Eindhoven Li-Fi Conference. Toronto killing the smart city and... Uh, E-Tim North America has been interviewed about what they plan to do for the future without explaining what E-Tim stands for. It really bothers me. In market projections, we have 40% growth for UV LEDs, 1% losses for sodium lamps, a $1.8 billion valuation for QLEDs, and 16% expansion for LED drivers. In Dark Sky News, uh, the intestinal biome responds to circadian rhythm Belluno, Italy will be keeping some neighborhoods dark this summer. The driftless, the driftless region of Wisconsin is aiming for dark sky status. ICU pad patients do sleep better in darker, quieter rooms. 
13 of 15 municipalities in Valparaiso, that's north of Paris itself, will be going dark over this summer. The IDA is open to their photo conference contest prior to their conference. And Fjordland, uh, New Zealand, will be uh, is on track for their dark sky application. And Alan does mess with everyone's seasonal adaptations. What do you know? In horticultural news, uh, Grow Generation has a new store in Mississippi. Uh, we have a Belgian greenhouse uh, turning off the lights to sell their uh, energy back to the grid. And we have a UN report on the environmental impacts of drugs, reminding us all that cannabis legalization is using a lot of power. Uh, in People News, Gabe Byrne has been elected to the Board of Lighting Europe. We have a bunch of moves and promotions recapped by Inside Lighting. Nick Hobbs is now the VP at LeGrand. And in local news, Las Vegas, Nevada is now home to the first UVC LED water treatment facility. We have some side benefits from Toronto, Ontario's community housing retrofits. ABM is offering new energy performance programs in Pennsylvania. U Hartford already saving a million a year and at a million a year after upgrades. Clearview Tech has received federal funding. West Hollywood's LED sculpture is burning out already. NASA's Goddard Center has begun some efficiency projects, and the UK is relighting for safety and security. And, uh, by the way, your eyes can get sunburned, so watch out for that. Until next time, I've been Scott Walker. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the music. Thank you to Nail. Thanks you to our sponsors. And thank you just for enjoying everything. See ya.